steel tool that I got from Sculpture Depot. It's uh, tool number 214, 2014B it looks like. Anyway, it's uh, one of those tools that uh, the guy over in, in Pakistan, I think it is, uh, makes and he makes it from uh, the uh, scrap steel from old wrecked ships. Anyway, I'm just uh, evening out the uh, top of this clay, or this on top of this foam, and uh, I'm rethinking my support on this piece. Um, I want the, the uh, loincloth to be blowing with the same wind that's blowing his hair and his shirt. Uh, or breeze, and uh, it's going to be hard to do that with that big stick there. So I'm thinking of uh, putting a support up into the middle of his thigh, underneath his uh, leg, right there, uh, some kind of a wooden dowel support, and uh, and one right here where his knee is, uh, and hold all that up. I'm thinking about it right now. I don't know whether I'm going to do it or not. Got to see if I've got a wooden dowel around here I can cut up. I think I do. But anyway, I just uh, got done putting the, finishing putting the clay on this base. I didn't think that you guys would want to watch that. This sort of akin to watching water drip off a duck's back. Uh, I don't know how much I recorded or didn't record because I just turned around to turn off the cameras and they weren't on. And uh, what I did, I took out the, this main support and uh, all I did was just pull back on it because it was surrounded by foam. The foam collapsed and I was able to uh, pull it out. I put these two pieces here underneath his thigh and uh, right up against the uh, joint of the uh, armature and uh, drove them down into the foam and then I put a three inch screw on either side of them to uh, you know anchor the uh, bottom so it's not moving off that not that I would but I like to be over corrected and the reason I did that is because the wind is blowing in this direction and I want to be able to put the loincloth like that going under a little bit and I can't do that if I've got a board sitting there so that's why I've taken that big board out. It seems to be okay now. I finished uh, putting the clay on the base and, uh, and I did this and it's uh, 6.15 in the evening right now and I've got to head home and fix uh, dinner because nobody else does. And then I'm going to uh, be here tomorrow. But uh, I had to go to Bozeman today, so this uh, it was a late night. All right, guys. See you tomorrow, and I apologize if you didn't get to see all this. Yeah, it looks. Doesn't look too bad. Good night.